Hey guys, Frell here. We are back in a brand new Space Engineers world, and the purpose of this particular world is uh, actually due in part to Mr. Wasted Space, who had the second episode of Top Engineers. And if you haven't caught the stream for it, uh, I was in the pilot episode, and Top Engineers is basically two teams of five with experts on both sides, and you're building a craft to kind of take on a challenge and that challenge varies from week to week it's very similar to scrap heap challenge aka junkyard wars if you're over here in the US and I kind of wanted to actually making a note of my build time here two minutes 30 seconds because you've got 20 minutes to build a machine that will be able to take on the rigors of the obstacle course now in this case and I am working with a build challenge of trying to transport some items from one end of a obstacle course over to another. Essentially, think about a big uh, racetrack set. So you got to pick up the cargo. So your machine has to be able to pick up the cargo. Has to be able to carry the cargo across some rough terrain or down a drag strip, and then across a uh, bit of a rough racetrack. Now the problem with the, uh, obviously you've got five people trying to all figure out how to do things, which is never an easy thing. I mean, I, I always say that trying to even just get more than two people in a room to agree on a single type of pizza to get is almost impossible. Four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's go one wider. Uh, in this case, uh, the other challenge is also that you might be thinking, oh, well, anyone could do that sort of thing. All you got to do is just worry about uh, putting some uh, sufficiently sized wheels on everything. And, well, yeah, or not wheels, uh, landing gears. Do a landing gear pickup, walk, drive over to it, pick it up, and walk off with it. Well, it's not that simple. You see, we don't have the use of thrusters, and we don't have the use of... Bigger if I can go bigger. Five by five. Yeah, that sounds good. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Not these dinky little wheels. They're not going to get me anything. Uh, that's left. Let's do five by five right if I could. Five by five right. And well, part of the problem is I'm not used to building wheeled vehicles, and you know, it's kind of like, a, well, I've got some ideas on what I would like to build. So I'm a little disadvantaged because I don't have a team behind me tackling the various different aspects of it, but okay, that's pretty almost, not quite though. Now, of course, this is all being done in creative mode, so don't really game don't have to worry about necessarily getting everything right the first time here there we go back to you for the five by five left put you on there you go okay so the obstacle course that uh, or the final track that you had to go over has some bridges that you have to go over that are that size. So that's why I am picking that particular setup. And then also to throw it out there, what you're looking to be able to pick up was the, uh, I believe those were the three by three wheels. So they were, well, these are the ones you had to get around. I don't have the video up anymore, so I can't exactly go back and look. Because they were definitely not those wheels. They might have been small ship wheels then. Yeah, they were the small ship size. Okay. So three of these guys stacked up. So that's the cargo I've got to be able to pick up. It's standing up just like that. So that's what we've got. Now, one of the big problems I noted on playback was you really can't have much in front of the vehicle. You've got to 
if you're going to put anything in and you're going to get over the curves and everything, you really have to kind of build out. No, 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 no. Not from that one. Uh, can I please limit you? No, 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 no. Come on. No, that's not what I wanted. Nope. This is going to be hampered by the fact that I am not particularly good with space engineers when it comes to stuff like knowing the keyboard commands. I'm not really much of a of a keyboard shortcut kind of person anyways. No, 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 no. Down. There you go. That's better. Of course, now the problem is, is everything is tilted in favor of the back. All right, we can work with that. Very easily. Go back to eight. We've got the left side wheel, which is what's over here. Five by five, right? And then we get rid of that. Okay, so basic four wheel design. Not exactly ideal, but what we're going to be doing uh, as soon as I chuck down a cockpit on this and take control of it because it's happily moving off. That's right. Parking brake. Okay. There we go. Parking brake will do for now. What I would really like to do is uh, for starters I should probably turn on mirroring. What do you guys think? It would certainly make it easier. side wheel. I'm no, putting them on there. Thank you. So the question is how quickly can I get this stuff in here now? In the series, what you're looking at is a 20 minute challenge and then you've got to have uh, you've got about 15-20 minutes for tinker time. This is going to give me pretty good access to get over the hills and bumps without any problems. So now the next question is, how am I going to get this thing around? Let's turn mirroring back on, please. And keep the gyros to a minimum there. All right. Cockpit up front. So basically 20 minutes for the build challenge and then another 10 or 15 for tinker time. So what is my great idea here? Well, my idea is simply as thus. We need, now I'm dealing with a completely vanilla setup here. So I don't know if there are any specific mods that were put in for the actual build challenge or not. But what I was thinking about is I liked the approach of doing the ramp. Uh, not the ramp, the uh, spinning rotors that the red team did in the challenge. But the execution was a little on the iffy side. Now I'm, gonna, I'm already in a bit of trouble here because I'm building this ramp off the back like everyone else. But I'm, it's a little too late to worry about trying to... Correct that. So, bring you through 
through. So what I was thinking of doing, come on, give me, no, 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 we are not. Come on, space engineers, work with me here. What I'm thinking about doing is taking the same approach. So we've got a ramp and we are still gonna use rotors, but we are going to be using the rotors in a different capacity. Uh, let's see, put those there for now. Yep, 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 you're connected, you're all connected. There's two things I wanna do. First, we're going to, I don't know if one of the teams did this, it was kind of hard to tell in the challenge if anyone had actually done this, but we are going to go ahead and actually drag out the platform like so. At a little disadvantage because of this. But we're going to kind of build this up as a place to hold on to all of the bits and bobs that I pick up, which are probably not going to be all that much. So we got that, we got that, we got you. Do I have... Come on. Anything... Are you going to be okay if... Not knowing any better... I did not think to... Come on. There we go. Okay. That's better. Now I can get rid of that bit. So now I've got a little bit of a recessed area that I can drive the cargo up into and hopefully retain it a little better. And the thing is, is that 20 minutes tends to go by a lot quicker than you realize in challenges like this. I'm a real, I was a real fan of, uh, of Junkyard Wars and, and by proxy Scrap Heap Challenge at that point, uh, way back in the day. And uh, it really kind of took, I, honestly I preferred the Scrap Heap Challenge host, if only because I'm a little biased because of uh, Red Dwarf, but... Uh, it kind of, I felt the series, at least in the U.S. side, everything started to go downhill a little bit when, uh, they made George Gray one of the hosts. Uh, probably a nice guy, but a little too loud for the series. Alright, so, next step is building that. What I want to do is take the Red Team Rotor design but adapt it to run vertically. So let's get this in place. This is where things are going to be a little bit of a challenge because I need to size this out just right. And the idea here is that if I get the rotor the right length, ideally what I should be able to do is just basically paddle wheel the whole thing and then I can just uh, hopefully have these the uh, loads just get pushed up and in. So build one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So another eight on that. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's. Let's get this set up. Why do I have... Oh, right, because it mirrored the design on both sides. Uh, turn off mirroring, please, because I only want one. Do not need two of those. Not yet at any rate. Uh, let's figure out stuff here. Breaking. Nope. Okay, yep, that is the right direction. All right, let's see if we got the length right. 
And I do have block damage turned off, just so you guys know. It's the same way in the series. That is looking pretty good. Now, the other thing I want to do is... It should also be kept in mind, of course, since I am playing on a... Uh, Since I am playing on a single player system, uh, obviously I have advantages that you don't necessarily have with multiplayer, aka the emergence and dealing with uh, clanging. That is a lot of weight to put on one rotor. Uh, do I have a center line here? Center line is that block. Okay, right idea. I'm almost afraid to see what's going to happen when I tell it to spin this thing up at uh, full speed here. Mr. Rotor, please turn on. So, in an ideal circumstance... Hmm, yep, see that's the problem. Find the rotor. And toggle you off to let the craft back down. Yep, okay. So that's the problem, is you can get these guys wedged. Let's turn off the parking brake. Let's see what that did. Yeah, it didn't really... It helped a little bit. I mean, at this point, you're almost better off... You're almost better off keeping this at the current angle and then just ramming back into uh, the targets. Find that rotor. Uh, let's note its position. Current angle is 292 degrees. That is pretty ideal. Because the way that these are all done is they were set up. Of course, the downside is I am dealing with a world that has the pirates on it, so I have to be very careful. Let's set our pickup area here. And I'm just kind of going off of an approximation. This is not exactly what was in the challenge because the world has not been made available for download or anything. Let's... kind of get close to here. It's also another thing when you see something on the stream, you're kind of seeing it from Wasted's point of view. And because of all the experience he's got with working with the various camera angles and everything, whereas I do not have that experience, I kind of have to guess at trying to do some of the stuff he's done. All right, so we've got that. Let's get rid of that, and I mean, in all honesty, if you could even pick up one or two of these, you're in pretty good shape, actually. But I should have enough of a lip on that thing to be able to, to work with that. So, cockpit, it is now uh, 21, basically we're at the point where they were finished their build at the end of the day, so there is still technically the uh, tinker time. Now I have not optimized my wheels at all. And I may have 
some issues with steering here. Uh, let's turn those middle wheels off. Good news is they were the last ones I... Oh, let's turn them all on. Show the HUD. HUD, could you show those to me, please? Uh, HUD. Hey, yo, HUD. Wake up. Stop being dinky. Show block in turn. Show block on HUD. What the heck? Well, thank you very much, game. Uh, that's not going to help matters whatsoever. Alright. Best I could do would be to... Let's turn off steering. Okay, good. Because I don't need that many. They were the last ones I added on, technically, so these should all be... parking brake on and get rid of the gyros now that I don't need these anymore. Parking brake. Alright, so how do you now get the items into here? Well, what we can do is on Mr. Rotor toggle block on and off. And that's just going to only demonstrate just how hard it is to do this. So what we need to do is pick this off bit by bit here. Come on. Okay, we've got our target. If I can stop him from going off the edge of... Okay, that didn't work. All right, but that proves what we're doing is the right idea. No, 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 no. This is the part where my Okay, can we... Alright. Admittedly, this is the part where it's handy to have someone on your team who's going to know what is going on. Alright. So at this point, this is definitely the end. It's 25 minutes after I started recording. This is about as far as I can get. So here you're going to see the problem with doing any sort of thing where you're trying to push this stuff up a ramp is that pivot point needs to be much further back than I've actually built this. That's the problem at play here. If I did not have that pivot point right here, if I had it over towards here, this design would work a lot better. So this is now getting into the day two kind of uh, revamping here the morning of challenge. So I now basically have 10-15 minutes to try to figure this one out. So what we can do is just knock that out completely because now I can kind of sort of simulate what it's going to look like. And yeah, in order for this to go up the hill, it's going to have game fine 
that stupid little piece go. Really wish assigning color was not a case of the middle mouse button, because mine likes to slip around when you do that. Okay, so we can do this. Now, uh, this is going to pose some challenges from the steering, because now I'm putting a lot of weight on the back end of this vehicle. Uh, so this has every... I'm honestly expecting... Yeah, you can already see it was starting to to tip about there. And now when you consider, I'm going to be trying to add in a full setup. Get rid of the piston head. Put that back on. All right. It's so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we know that's basically the bare minimum of what I can get away with. And I don't necessarily need that full length down here anymore either. So you can see there I'm going... Might have to go one more on the bottom. Come on, game. Let me get in here. Come on, game. Let me get under... There we go. Okay. Eight. Full length. Uh, so, same sort of idea on this rotor now. So we can go back to that. I want to give it a little bit of speed, but not too much. Hmm. That seemed to have some problems. Let's give you a little less power. Reverse it. Okay, so the next question is, where am I off here on this design? And, hmm. I think I'm going to have to go with that. It's the rotor is not quite long enough, but as you saw from when I had that... Yeah, let's get the uh, braking torque going, please, if you don't mind. Okay, so, here's the problem with this kind of flip design. I can't make this any lower because I'm already in danger of trying to get over the racetrack at this point. So what I kind of need, since I can't make this any longer, is I need something that's going to get me a little bit of extra leverage here. I need a kicker. So we'll see if this might have any better luck. Let's even go to a point of... Let's just see what happens, because this could also catch the ramp, too, is the problem. Nope, that's not going to work like that, so get rid of the tip. Nope. 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 And at this point, now we are wedged. Now, mind you, Technically, this would have been perfectly okay during the challenge. In fact, if we were at this point and I was looking at it, it'd be kind of like, uh, okay, we don't have much of... Oh, that's interesting. I might see what Wasted... I think I know what Wasted was referring to here. Uh, the trick at this point now would be to go in and lower the suspension down to the ground. Go into our wheels and drop them all down. Because I don't think anyone was actually adjusting the suspension height on anything they were doing. So if we kind of... Did that help any or not? Parking brake is on. Parking brake back off. Now, yeah, now I'm at the problem where I don't have enough weight over the front end. So heavy armor this sucker up. Not too much forward. 
There we go. That gives me a little extra weight to make her a bit more front happy. All right, so having that, let's see what we've got here. Uh, turn toggle lock off and on, and get new groups, wheels, let's find increase suspension height, and decrease suspension travel. And worst case scenario, the reset suspension travel. Okay. Off. That help at all? No, it didn't. Parking brake. Yeah, I need the suspension height to drop down further, and I don't seem to be getting that. that any wheels are not my forte in this game. Steering angle is not the problem. Safety lock speed is not the problem. Strength damping. No, damping is not going to do anything. It's only going to be taking the shock in. There we go. Height offset is what I'm looking for. Okay, so we want that to be nice and high for that. So, what I need is none of these. I need to reset height off with increase, height, decrease height offset, increase height offset. Okay, so if I get out of the vehicle now, now I'm down low to the ground, which is only going to help with that. Now the problem is, yeah, I just lost that whole piece of the ramp there. That might be okay though. What I need is a button, but I, yep, here you go. And get me rotor, toggle block, no, no, toggle block on and off. Thank you. And rotor, reverse. Hmm. As much as I hate to do it because it's going to potentially send this thing out of control. Now it's doing a good job of wedging it. get you to want to go up there. And I currently have about maybe uh, let's see, we're 35 minutes. Not much time left at all to that. Yes, delete. Uh, eliminate that bit that bit because we don't need them. Let's try for a steeper ramp. It's a little counterintuitive, but it might help. Let's see if we can give these a little bit of a boost forward here. Okay, we are 
doing better. There definitely would have been some potential clangage going on here. I will say that much. Uh, <laughs> and of course, this is also assuming that we managed to... Come on. The other thing is also you wouldn't be able to fly during the event too, so this is still not looking... Okay, can I do a kicker of any kind? See, now we're just missing it completely. Alright, pop back into the cockpit and turn it off. See, there's something to be said, actually. See, I can, I can get some pretty consistent hits, but that's about it. So at this point, what we've really got this down to is I've got a potential method to try to get it in, but I can't get it up over this ramp. I mean, you can tell my rotor is trying, but it's not getting enough of a kick on this stuff. So I might be able to do on the fly. Probably not, though. Is to try eliminating that and... Give it that. <laughs> Clean whiff. Come on. Okay, so herein lies the problem. Now, I can get the truck pr possibly pretty close to be able to actually get to this point. Uh, space Engineers, would you like to, thank you, get rid of the block? There's only one other thing I can try, and that is to give it just enough of a lip that maybe I can get a, a good hit on it underneath. And that would probably be it for tinkering time. At this point, I would have to hope that someone else on my team has managed to get the suspension settings tuned in place for uh, doing some driving. But even this, I think, is kind of... How does that look like that's going to hit? Hmm... It's not enough of a lift to it. I'll give myself one more shot here. This is probably not going to work. Thank you. Just because I fully expect this to bottom out. But that might be just what need is needed here. At the very least, I've clanged it into position. Well, not clanged it, but... Okay, that's... we're on to something here.
block, I mean, that's basically it. Block damage is off, so I don't have to care about what this thing is doing when it hits the ground. It's going to bounce my vehicle around, and on a multiplayer server, could induce all sorts of clank, but you know what? This might just be worth it. And same thing from this side over, so we'll see if... Repeating that on the other side gives us any additional benefits here. She wants to go in. Oh, it wants to go in. Let's see if we can encourage it a little here. All right, there we go. So that's apparently the trick. Don't even think about the fact that you've got the, uh, that you could potentially be exposing yourself to Clang. And hope that you can approach it from that angle. Because that's now giving me a payload. So all I need to do now is, uh, well at this point it would be tools down. And I'd be having to try to decide whether I've actually made it or not. So... As far as propulsion goes, I know I am nowhere near set up for track conditions. That much is painfully obvious. Uh, we need a ramp piece. And what it looked like had been done on the on the uh, on Wasted's episode was something akin to didn't exactly see just how far the platform went but I'm willing to bet probably up to about there come on And of course, ramps down. Now, this is not going to be perfect recreation by any stretch of the imagination, but we're going to try to get pretty close here. Because this was one of the bigger handling challenges that was present on the course was trying to get over this bridge. There was a second bridge that you could go over, but it had a steeper full slope block on the other side, which was definitely not going to be very friendly to uh, any of the vehicles at that point. So I'm just kind of simulating and then just getting it off onto the grass here. Because at that point, if I can hang on to it through that, then I feel pretty good about the rest of the challenges. I mean, at that point, it just comes down to backing into the uh, the garage and backing out of it. That's pretty straightforward. I mean, that's just a case of how maneuverable is your vehicle? Can you get it to go in a straight line? At any rate, let's just say that we've competed. We've got one item in there because that's really all we're going to fit. Again, more extra time, I could have had another team member potentially adding more to the front end of this vehicle. I'm going to make one other modification just for uh, my sanity here and put in the rest of the missing armor blocks up here because that just doesn't look right. That's better. Yeah, so there would have been an expanded uh, cargo area and everything through here. Now, that said, this thing is going to become a challenge the minute we get into any, ch any particular... Uh, nope. So what I need to do is chain... Ooh, actually, that is a pretty reasonable position. Again, the problem, though, that is a lot of extra weight on the back wheels. I have a feeling that we're going to need some of that, and we're also going to need to now 
reset our ride suspension a little bit here. Give us just a little more room off the line. And again, I am not a genius when it comes to steering or setting up these vehicles. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh, okay. That's some friction on the wheels, I suspect, and a lot of extra weight on the back. We can fix that. Let's go into our wheels. Give them a little more friction. Aside from the fact that I am now apparently... Yeah, I am completely beached out here, so this is a case of, again, needing more weight across the front of the craft. Heavy armor blocks are good for that. Let's see if we can... Okay, let's see what we can do now. Oh, come on. You know you want to. Oh, no, we've lost the cargo. We've got to get the cargo back in. Oh. Okay, rotor, reverse. Run it. not going to be all that good for the cargo, but okay. <laughs> all right, there you go, guys. Uh, not ideal by any stretch of the imagination, this particular uh, design, but at the very least, it's capable of picking up something. Uh, something I would probably have actually done on the race course itself would have been... Something along the lines of, well, let me just, uh, before we do that, uh, go ahead and copy. Plop you in, because I want to, actually, I should name this first. Uh, just because I've already used this on once, unfortunately. Green monster. And exit out of view. Copy. Escape. Create from clipboard. Okay, so now I've got that. Because what I would really like to do, in all honesty, especially now that this is situated even better for carrying around, is uh, let's go ahead and give a little bit of a... Because there's nothing saying that you couldn't do that. So now, as a result, I have a much better field of view to go driving with, and I'm carrying around a lot less weight. And with the way that this car goes in there, it's in there pretty, pretty well, actually. I don't know, uh, don't know how it's not moving around in some of those skids there. Let's really give this a good test, though. I mean, I'm basically using the default wheel settings, so I know they are in no way designed to uh, to handle this particular descent. Oh, there goes Clang. There goes Cargo. Quick, I must pick up the Cargo. Oh, actually, that worked pretty well. Anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed my little answer to uh, 
to the challenge. I don't know if anyone was actually dropping their suspension to pick up the cargo or not. And I kind of would like to think that might have... Between that and flipping the rotor around to work off of the vertical, because you can get you can kick the cargo that way. Whereas the other way, you're kind of you could get a kick on it, but it was a little unnatural. Let's see if I can just pick it up by ramming it. <laughs> of course, there is also that approach. Beautiful. I mean, at that point, even uh, a couple of couple of uh, rotors on the uh, the side here potentially uh, on the side that in such a way that they could how would you do that I'm thinking of a way to kind of you'd have to have uh, let me put parking brake on if you don't mind and let's also do a group master wheel lock so that way they really can't go anywhere uh, I could have done some rotors on the mount point here that could have swung closed once the the uh, piston here, or the rotor here had been jettisoned uh, to hold the cargo in. That's where the red design really had a good strength there, but because it was designed to pull stuff in and still keep swinging around, it couldn't really actually do the job that it needed to do. So anyways, that is my idea, my submission for how one way to at least tackle this challenge. It seems to work pretty well. Uh, especially on the off-road bits, this is not going to uh, get bottom out as much because it's a very short design that does make it a lot harder to steer, though. And it is pretty wide, so it would have been really difficult to fit through. Well, I mean, all the craft were difficult to fit through the tire challenge. Um, but this is built to basically the same width and standard that they were doing on those spots anyway, so it would have been about the same. And at that point, I kind of consider that part of the challenge a wash, depending on... Uh, you know, how good the driver is that you've got going for you. Anyways, I've been Farrell. Hope you guys have enjoyed my take on this challenge, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Hey guys, it's Farrell. Uh, we are back here in a fresh space engineer. <laughs>